right, hey team, this video is for our second through fourth grade small group leaders for Sunday. So we have three rooms now. This first room, the teal room, which is actually like the second room down the hallway. Kids entering second grade, kids entering third grade, kids entering fourth grade. Mix of boys and girls. Every room is set up the same. The boys group will gather in the back. The girls group will gather in the front. And I'll go over what we're going to do in just a second. But first of all, all summer long, we are talking about making waves. What you do today can change the world around you. And our memory verse for this month is, the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful, gentle, and having control of oneself. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. So this month, or this week, I'm sorry, we're going to Acts chapter 5. When Jesus' disciples started sharing about his death and resurrection with others, they faced all kinds of trouble. Thankfully, they had Jesus' Holy Spirit to help them find joy. So last week we talked about love. This week we are talking about joy. And our bottom line is choose joy no matter what's going on. From not making the team to struggling in a class at school, kids of all ages struggle with what it means to have joy when life is hard. Well, we pray that they start to discover what God can do in them to help them choose joy. So all this week is all about joy. So we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room for coffee and donuts. And then we will pray together also. Then just make sure that you are to your small group area by 830 and 1030. Um, kiddos will start to, roll, start to roll in at 840 and 1040. And when they do that, there's a couple things that you can do. I will have like um, a magnet tiles tub or some kind of activity on each carpet. So the kids can sit on a carpet and do that. The boys will be at that carpet. The girls will be at this one. Or you can give each kid as they come in one of these coloring pages that is down at the bottom of your cart. And they can color this coloring page on the back. They can take this home and it's a devotional for the week. But they can color that page that says choose joy. All your coloring supplies are in the middle shelf of your cart. Then on your cart here, you have a leader's guide, which is your folder. In your folder, it will say, this is the second grade room. So their leader guide says second grade. The third grader's room will say third grade. The fourth grader's room will say fourth grade. So as kids are coloring this first page, you have some icebreaker questions that you can ask them in this first page of your leader guide. When have you been the happiest in your life? Where is a place that you felt the happiest? Who makes you feel happy? And if you were sad, what would cheer you up the most? So this is what kids are going to do as they're coming in. They can be coloring, they can be playing with something on the carpet. Then at nine o'clock when service starts, if they're starting to get antsy, they're done with their coloring page, or they come up and say, I'm done, you also have some blank paper at the bottom of your cart. And that's this little interactivity, and it is called Draw Joy. So you can give kids a blank piece of paper and set out the coloring materials and tell them to draw joy, whatever it looks like to them. They could write out the letters joy and decorate them. They could draw a person or a place that brings them joy. They could just draw an abstract representation of what joy means to them. And if they finish, they can share with the group. So if kids are trucking along and they're coloring um, and they're doing fine, they do not have to do this. But if they're finished and they're looking for something else to do or you want to wrap up your whole group and have them do this, you can. And then right before you head to large group, you're going to say joy is a lot like happiness, but it's not exactly the same. People have a lot of different ideas of what joy really means. So we're going to head to large group and see what that looks like. So large group starts at 10 after. Really make sure that you are leaving your classroom and heading down to large group at 10 after so that we can finish large group on time. We got to start on time to finish on time. So after large group, you are going to go to three different stations. Your leader guide that's in the front of your folder will be personalized because each grade will do these in a different order, okay? So for example, second grade, they will leave large group and they will go into the yellow room, which is next door over there. And in the yellow room, they will have snack. So I'm going to take this one. When you go to large group, I would bring your prayer journal with you and your folder with you that has your schedule and everything in it. So if I'm going to large group and I'm a second grade leader, I'm going to bring this stuff. We go to large group. And um, also before you head to large group, kind of clear off your tables because kids are going to be coming in and using those as a station. So have the kids write their name on their coloring page, put it up on the front table or down on the bottom of your cart so you can give it back to them before they go home. So if I'm second grade, I'm going to come into the yellow room right after large group and the girls are going to sit at the front table. The boys are going to sit at the back table. We're going to have cups of goldfish ready for them. 
And up on the, um, we've got hand sanitizer up here. You can spray it on the tables if you need to and you're done. And um, these little signs that are going to be in each room um, are going to be, you can grab those for your table. And this is what you're going to do for your station. So as kids are eating their snack, last week I just had the kids all sitting around and I just kind of knelt down in the middle of the tables. And you're going to pray with them. You're going to say, okay, guys, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask you a question. And you guys are going to respond by telling me today's bottom line. So what can you choose to do when you feel sad? Choose joy no matter what's going on. What can you choose to do when you're disappointed? Choose joy no matter what's going on. And then ask them all the questions. And then you can read this little part if you want and pray with them. Um, you can read that prayer. You can just pray on your own. And also, I last week went around, and I think this was super impactful and powerful for the kids. I went around the whole table, and I wrote down their name, whether they had a prayer request or not. And I said, do you guys have anything that you want to pray for? Or do you have anything you want to thank God for? So... Sweet Lainey, she thanked God for the gift of unicorns and food. Grace prayed for her friends and family, Mariska for her family and her brother. Brooklyn was thankful for faith, Ryan for life. And I wrote down all their little names. I just put the date at the top just to kind of keep track so that maybe if you have some of these kids this week, you could go back and look and see what they prayed about last week and maybe ask them about it if they had a prayer request. So that's what I did while they were eating their snack at the snack station. We did this little prayer together. I asked for their prayer requests. And that is all we did at this station right here. So then you're gonna take your little folder and you will go to the next station. So for second grade, the next station is the room right next door, the purple room, and they're gonna play a game called joy o -meter. So let's go out the door. You're gonna rotate clockwise every time you rotate. Again, same setup. The boys will sit back there. The girls will sit back here. Here is what you're going to do in this room. You're gonna play a game called joy o -meter. So what you've got, it tells you all the directions here, and I will go through them with you. You're going to give each kid one of these joy faces. If you think, I would set like a two-minute timer and put out the coloring supplies and say you have two minutes, maybe just one minute, to decorate your smiley face however you want. Ready, set, go. And let them decorate it however they want. While they're doing that, you are going to, sorry, you're going to spread out your joy o -meter. So you're gonna put your 0% joy right there. You're gonna put your 100% joy right there and you're gonna have them spread out on the ground. Then the kids are gonna use their smiley face that they decorated and you're gonna give them a scenario. And they're gonna put their smiley face somewhere between 0% and 100% joy. So also in this little basket are all of the situations. So you can grab one of these for your group and it says, the power just went out before your birthday party. So are they going to be at 0% joy or 100%? Some kids might be way down there. Some kids might put it at 50%. And you might say, why'd you go in the middle? Well, it might be kind of exciting to have a birthday party with no power. I'm going to find the joy in that. It would be really, you know, it could be something different. Not what I was expecting. What's this one say? You have Saturday morning full of chores before going to your friend's birthday party. Again, that might not be 0% joy because they get to go to their friend's birthday party. So have them lay their smiley face along the line and then kind of ask them why they picked what they picked. Then obviously they can take their smiley faces with them. If you want, you can clip together. Um, actually, you can just throw them away when you're done because we have enough sets for every group. So you can throw away your little things and the next group stuff will be ready to go in the basket. So... Then on here, this is the directions, just in case you weren't sure. Um, you can kind of close down by talking about, guys, no matter what, we can choose joy. Even when things don't go the way they're supposed to go, we can still choose to have joy and look for the good things. And then maybe give kids an example of a time when you chose joy, even when something didn't go your way. And down at the bottom, there's some extra questions that you can ask your kids. Have you ever been, have you ever seen someone who had joy in a very difficult circumstance, like someone who was sick? but they were still kind to others or somebody who didn't have a lot, but they were still grateful. Who's the most joyful person you know? And what can you do if you're in a situation where you feel like joy is impossible? Okay, so that is the joy o -meter station. So when time is up, we're gonna spend about eight to 10 minutes at each station. Um, the next station that you're going to go to, oh shoot, I forgot to turn the lights on in this room. Sorry, sorry, I know this video is longer than normal, but just until we get the hang of it, they're gonna be a little bit long. The last station that you'll go to, or if you're in second grade, it might be the first station that you go to, depending on what grade you're in, is gonna be in the garage door room, and they are gonna play a memory verse relay game in here. So 
It's called Noodle Versus. Again, I've got the directions um, printed out in this thing. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna sit in one of these big circle squares with your group. And I'm gonna have a few Bibles in here and that you're gonna help the kids look up their memory verse in their Bible, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Practice saying it a few times with the motions. And then you're gonna play this game. So what the game is gonna look like is you can break um, your team up into two or three teams, depending on how many kids you have. I am going to put a hole in these cones, and so these sticks are gonna be poking up out of the cones. The cones are gonna hold them up. Does that make sense? So like the little dowel rod or the stick will be sticking up in the air. Um, there's three sets for each small group. So let's say you've got 12 kids in your small group, which is probably on the high end. You could have three groups of four. If you only have eight kids in your small group, you could just do two groups of four. And what you're going to do, I'm gonna read the directions so I don't mess it up. You'll give each team a set of noodles and you're gonna have the kids one at a time in memory verse order, carry their noodle piece to the cone across the room, put their noodle piece on the dowel rod and then go back. So like a little relay race. So they're gonna have to spread out their pieces on their noodles. They're gonna have to find the first part of their memory verse or maybe the last part of their memory verse, however you wanna do it. And that one kid will, they'll start down there, one kid will walk down, put the first piece of the memory verse on the dowel rod, walk back, the next kid will walk down, put the second piece on, and then at the end, kind of like a survivor game, you're gonna see if they have them in order. You could challenge them to hop, you could challenge them to walk backwards, you could challenge them to walk on their tippy toes as they race down however they want. So you might have potentially six games of this going at once, you may only have four games going at once, Second service, you may just have boys versus girls, two games going at once, okay? So this is the last station, or this is the last of the three stations you'll go to. Snack, and then you will go to the joy o -meter, and then you will come to here, which is the little memory verse game. Now, you might do them in a different order than that. Your group might start in here, and then go to snack, and then go to joy o -meter. You're gonna have to look at the schedule that's in the front of your folder to know where to go. So then at about five after, so 10.05 and 12.05, you're gonna come back to your small group room. You're gonna finish up in your homeroom and you're gonna make sure that every kid has a parent cue card with tickets, write their name on the top. You can put that with their coloring page that they did at the beginning and their little, if they um, drew a thing that talked about what joy was, you can put it with that. If you have any kids that weren't here last week, they can get this Books of the Bible challenge that we have for the summer, our 21 ticket challenge. If they memorize their Books of the Bible, they get 21 tickets. And also this is just like a little memory verse sticker chart. So if they didn't get one of these last week, they can take one of those home as well and you can paperclip everything together for them. And then finally, when I had some leftover time at the end of the hour, I just scanned this QR code with my phone and we sang the Books of the Bible song together as um, I was waiting for their parents to come pick them up. You can also get back out the magnet tiles on the carpet and have them sit and play, or they can continue to color um, their things from the very beginning of service. So that is it. I hope that all of that made sense. I will be here Sunday morning to help walk you through it. I'm gonna be leading one of the groups. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Sorry for the super long video. Last week doing these stations went phenomenal. The time flew by, the kids were engaged, the leaders really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that it goes smooth again this week. Thank you guys so much for serving. You're amazing. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you on Sunday.